I didn't have time to erase and double the other video. I was on 9% on my phone and uh, it just cut off. So I'm on my way to work. Got to throw my shoes on, get my keys. And uh, I have an hour lunch break. So I can still come and talk to you guys. Um, I met up with AFTV5 and uh, I'll, I'll be working with them in networking. And I'll, I'm also still working on my 501. And we had a business, me business meeting about some things going forward. It is going to take some time. I am so hyper. I didn't have coffee. Um, so everything is moving right along. But like I said... Don't let the devil take and steal your time. Follow the Ten Commandments. Do what's right, no matter how many people are beating you up. If I if I told you guys the end all be all, even if people would get mad of how much I'm persecuted, do you know how much Jesus Christ and the apostles were persecuted? Rocks and things thrown, being spit on, locked up in prison. Has anybody locked you up for speaking of faith? Oh God, you don't love me. Come on. God said, oh, faithless generation, you pray for a sign and a wonder. Read in Genesis, because I'm studying that right now. God said to let the seasons be a sign and wonders. Let it be for signs. Read it in Genesis chapter 1. The first book of Genesis. And when you read the word of God with the Holy Spirit, you have understanding. Or if you read it with someone who has a little bit more understanding in you, that have a little bit more experience in God, does that make that person better? And that's what I'm trying to say. No, it doesn't. But when people come to you and they're just making it seem like, oh, I'm going to take my knowledge. What is the Bible? What does it say in, uh, in the Garden of Eden? Do not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Ooh, you didn't catch that. If you were to let that one scripture in Genesis hit you real good and hard enough and you thought about it and prayed until you got the revelation and God gave it into your life, <laughs> until he gave it and birthed it into your life, until you revelatively, meaning revelation, live that. Do not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Knowledge. Knowing what's good, meaning, ah, hey, I'm going to justify what I'm doing today. Yeah, this is a good thing. You know, I can be like that. And so now, I don't have time to really get into everything. I got to go to work. But it's all in there. Talking about knowledge. Talking about good. Talking about evil. Talking about let the seasons be for signs. It's good. We're going to get into a lot of things. And we can get in, uh, into a lot of this on Sundays when I uh, start this. I'm not going in, like I said, uh, uh, as under anything. You know, I'm still being groomed and taught as a minister. I'm not trying to stop my own ministry or do anything. Um, Jesus' parents found him at a young age ministering. Where, where are you? Hey, I'm in my father's house. I'm in my father's house. So um, the Holy Spirit cannot be hindered. He cannot be hindered. At all, none whatsoever. You guys be blessed. I need to head on to work. I'm trying to see how much time I got. But yeah, um, you guys be blessed. And uh, sorry for the two short videos. Um, I'll get a chance to speak with you guys. And really, to be honest with you, sometimes it doesn't need to be long at all. So uh, love you guys for sure, for sure. Hello, Maddie. She's nine years old. I just want to send a shout out to you, Christine. And everyone else on my page. People I haven't seen in a while. People that are new. Uh, even though I don't say everybody's name. Um, David. Uh, Nicole haven't heard from you but it's okay because we all need breaks and we all just need time for God to be in our life you know I'm not God you know I have so much of God on me uh, and a lot of us a lot of others of us we need God and you know we have to have that space and let God take part of that space you know we need God to be in that space so we all can connect in one unison you guys be blessed I'm going to work